Hey, uh, Jeff, um, the team hasn't scored uh, in more than 300 minutes now, uh, including being shut out by a team that gave up four goals in its last game. What is going on with the offense right now? Well, I think the other night we definitely created chances, um, enough chances, enough good chances to score. We just didn't. I think today is obviously a different situation. Uh, we get a red card. We have to take our forward off the field. And then, you know, even in the last 20 minutes or so of the first half, I thought we were pretty dangerous, but not able to score a goal. Um, it is frustrating. I think we do find at times that um, we're playing somewhat without a forward and we're creating through Pity and Barco. Um, but today, obviously, the, the situation was a bit different, having to take Adam off the field with a red card. So um, it's definitely something that, that we can't continue to do and expect to win games. But um, today, I think the situation was a bit different. OK, next we'll go to Felipe. Hey, Jeff. Uh, I mean, several factors contribute. He you're down a man, you're down two men at one point, uh, but in the end, still a loss, which I think you'll agree is not the expectation for Atlanta United. How do you guys fix that in five days facing a really good crew team? What's at stake? Well, what's at stake is the hope to to, to get through somehow with a win. Um, obviously, it's, it's a bit of a long shot, but I mean, that's what we have to do. We have to win that game. I, I think that the crew have shown to be a very tough team, so we know it's going to be a difficult game. And, and I think you're right that it's not like us to 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 win back to, to lose back to back games to be towards the bottom of a group in a tournament situation to lose really at all. Um, it's it's incredibly disappointing. Um, but I think today was a situation that doesn't often happen. I mean, I can't remember a game in the last three and a half years where you know, we've played down a man for that long. So um, today was extremely difficult and we'll look to rebound uh, in five days. And next we'll go to Joe Patrick. Hey Jeff, uh, another one for you. Uh, all caveats that Felipe just mentioned, does it, feel, does it feel to you like there is any kind of passion in the team missing or was it just kind of down to the, the tough conditions playing down a man and the heat and stuff? You can't say there's a lack of passion in the team. I mean, it's just a difficult situation. You have to change tactically. You can come in with a certain um, a certain game plan, and I think that you could see in the first 20 minutes or so, <laughs> Cincinnati had shown us all the respect in the world by playing within their own half, and then and then everything changes. So <laughs> at that point, I'm not sure it's so much about passion as it is about figuring out the tactics of the game, trying to find your opportunities to, to score. Um, unfortunately, we didn't. And uh, you know we're playing down for 70 minutes, so it's a it's a game that gets kind of flipped on its head. All right, next we'll go to John Rojas. John, go ahead. Thank you. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Thanks. This one is for Fernando. Fernando, qué tan frustrante es eh, enfrentar un equipo que básicamente no quería ir por el partido? y terminar sin un resultado eh, en estas circunstancias. Es frustrante como se dio el partido. Lamentablemente, a los pocos minutos nos quedamos con un jugador menos. En las condiciones del tiempo se hace muy difícil. Eh, pero no es excusa. La verdad que se nos ha complicado el hecho de generar juego, de generar ocasiones de gol. Eh, estamos con esa mala fortuna de que nos llegan una vez quizás y nos convierten, eh, pero nada, queda un partido, eh, todavía hay posibilidades y nada, hay que ser autocrítico, hay que pensar en, en lo que cada uno hizo bien y lo que hicimos mal, corregirlo y seguir adelante. En definitiva, no hay mucho tiempo para lamentarse, hay que pensar ya en el próximo partido y enfocarnos eh, en lo que viene, ¿no? porque es el último partido y lo tenemos que ganar sí o sí. It was frustrating the way the game went. Uh, unfortunately, we went down a player early on in the game and, and that complicated things for us. Uh, you know, the conditions, the heat and the circumstances are all difficult, but we can't use that as an excuse. Uh, we don't have a lot of time to, to dwell on this. We have to correct our mistakes, be self-critical, think about what we did well and what we can improve and, and move on to the next game. 
Next question will go to Pablo. Pablo, go ahead. Uh, this is for Jeff. Jeff, thanks for doing this. I'm, I'm curious. Uh, obviously, a um, you know team like United, United, the ex expectations are always going to be pretty high. Um, one thing that strikes me though is is how do you sort of evaluate this tournament in regards to the bigger picture? Um, if you have sort of uh, a series of disappointing results, or if the club doesn't go forward, um, are the sort of extenuating circumstances of it, uh, you know, more likely to sort of um, cause you or the team at large to maybe just consider this an aberration, um, or is it, you know, is that sort of, is it just as concerning as? As it would be, you know, under the normal circumstances, if you lost a few games during the regular season with a full preseason, etc. I mean, I, I think it can be both. Certainly, this is a situation that none of us has, have ever seen before, and, and have to adapt to circumstances that are are unique. I mean, I can definitely say today, circumstantially, is probably one of the mo more difficult professional games I've ever played. You know, trying to force a pregame meal down at 6 a.m. and Getting out on the field at 9 a.m. is is difficult, but um, it certainly tests you as a professional. It tests you um, as a team and as a club because you have to adapt to these circumstances. But um, there are 25 other teams here doing it as well, and, and there are teams winning games at 9 a.m. Um, so I don't think you can just say it's an aberration. I don't think you can just kind of sweep this under the rug and say, well, you know, that wasn't uh, that wasn't the type of game we want to play. Um, you have to be ready to play in all, all circumstances. And um, unfortunately, the, the red card today changes the game. I think that the game against the Rebels, we were the better team, but, but didn't win today. Um, we're kind of undone by the red card. So, um, but we're not going to just kind of move on from this and say, well, that doesn't count because we're all professionals and we've got to play in any circumstances, no matter how difficult or unique. Next question, Doug, go ahead. Uh, this is for either player. Um, did you think that the two yellow cards to Jake uh, were fair? Um, Fernando. Go ahead, Jeff. No, Justin, go ahead, man. Fernando, si, si quieres opinar, si crees que las dos tarjetas amarillas a, a Jake fueron justas. Eh, sí, pueden ser que hayan sido justas las tarjetas amarillas pero creo que también en el segundo tiempo se dio una situación parecida con un jugador de ellos eh, donde también tenía que sacar la amarilla para mi entender y no lo hizo. Creo que no fue justo, pero bueno, queda a criterio del árbitro. Él, yo cuando terminó el partido le pregunté eh, cuál, por qué había cobrado para un lado sí y para otro lado no y lo que me contestó fue que que una era jugada de gol y la otra no. Para mí entender y creo que la jugada de nosotros eh, era, era para tarjeta amarilla. Eh, lo tenía que sancionar con tarjeta amarilla. Pero, pero bueno, queda a criterio del árbitro, él decidió eso. Eh, no es una excusa, pero sí condiciona. Eh, nada, hay que seguir. No hay que poner excusas, jugamos mal. No generamos lo que teníamos que generar y, y si bien el resultado no creo que haya sido justo, eh, es así, hay que aceptarlo y, y enfocarnos en lo que viene. Ya lo que pasó, pasó, sacar eh, lo positivo y lo negativo y, y de eso crecer. It's possible they were fair. That's up to the referee's decision. Um, I think in the second half there was a, a play that I thought should have been a yellow card for the opponent. I spoke to the referee after the match and asked him why, and he said, um, in our, our yellow cards, uh, the difference was that was a goal-scoring play and the other one was not. But again, that's up to the discretion of the referee. We can't make excuses. We didn't play well enough. We didn't create enough chances. So we've got to take the negatives and the positives out of this game. And we'll go to the last question from Felipe. Go ahead. Hey, Fernando, buenas. Hey. Precisamente, vos lo decís que hay que enfocarse en lo positivo. ¿Qué rescatás de este partido? O sea, controlaron los primeros 25 minutos, o sea, mayor parte del partido antes de la primera tarjeta roja, pero se perdió. ¿Qué rescatás? Yo creo que más allá de, de en la primera expulsión, 
con un jugador menos el partido seguía controlado porque ellos no, no, no nos generaban quizás llegaban hasta tres cuartos y nada más no, no tuvieron situaciones de gol eh, rescato la, la voluntad y, y el hecho de, de, de querer sobreponerse a, a las situaciones que se van presentando tanto como la expulsión y como el clima la verdad que no es excusa pero sí cuesta mucho se hace notar, pesa eh, pero, pero nada, eh, como dije recién, positivo tenemos una opción más y hay que hacerla valer Bueno, well, we'll try and take away you know, the will of the team uh, whatever we can positive from this match again, I don't want to use anything as an excuse um, we've, we've got to do better and we're going to think about that in the next match All right, with that, we'll conclude the players and we'll have Frank coming in next. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay, we'll get started with questions for Frank. We'll start with uh, Doug, go ahead. Frank, um, the team uh, hasn't scored in more than 300 minutes and was just shut out by a team that gave up four goals in its last game. Uh, what is going on with the offense and how do you fix it uh, before Tuesday to try to give yourself a chance to advance to the knockouts? Well, I think uh, Jeff already explained it. I think we had a enough opportunities against Red Bull to score a goal. Uh, this game was of course different, you know, after 26 minutes. Uh, yeah, we were one man down, so then the whole plan, what we had, what we thought of, you know, how to play against uh, Cincinnati. Yeah, you can throw it overboard and yeah, then it's, you know, hopefully, and I think after 10 men, uh, we created even more chances than uh, with uh, 11 because yeah they had to come and they didn't have an idea you know how to play against 10 men and I think we are were more dangerous at that moment so you know when you play 10 men down uh, yeah you have to hope that you know they're gonna force it and we're gonna uh, yeah uh, try to Yeah, get uh, if they force it that we're gonna get yeah uh, our chances because they they force it and I think in the first half it was like that second half yeah it was more controlled and there was no problem yeah for us we were just waiting for that moment to, uh, that will come and yeah, I think he made a great goal Amaya but also a little bit with his left feet of course uh, in the top corner uh, yeah. I think he sh when he shoots it 10 times, probably nine times, you know, uh, it will go over or it was going to be a save by by Brad. And uh, so it was very disappointed, of course. But I'm not worried about, you know, scoring goals. I know we can score goals, but yeah, if you have to put one striker out because you're 10 men down, yeah, then it's normal that you, you don't score suddenly two or three goals. Next question will go to Joe. Hi Frank, just wondering after George Bellows started in the last game why he was left out of the match day squad today. Well, I said, you know, we're going to do rotations and uh, he's still young and he had a, a hard game. So we uh, we wanted to prepare him for uh, the next game. So I said to him, you know, just focus on Columbus crew and be fresh for that because uh, we don't want injuries. And that's why I also uh, changed PT at the end and all those guys because they all played 90 minutes, the most uh, players. Uh, for example, the second, uh, uh, well, the second, if, if Edgar, of course, came in and then went out, but it was more that, of course, he or didn't play uh, 90 minutes still, but also we, we changed plan. We uh, wanted to play 3-3 three, three, three at that moment to force a goal. And I think we uh, all the players did everything, you know, to, to get a good result. And we, 
you know, before the goal we didn't have any problems and of course there sometimes there was a little bit of danger but not really and uh, I think we defended well and I'm sure that, you know, if the games continue we we should have uh, created our chances that I'm convinced of but uh, again it's very disappointing, zero points, zero goals. Still, uh, I think a chance because we only get two goals against us. So, but we have to have a good result, of course, against uh, Columbus Crew. Next question to Felipe. Hey, Frank. Uh, okay. You know, against the Red Bulls, you guys played well. I mean, there were yeah. there were moments in that game where you probably deserve more. Uh, different conditions yeah. today but still a loss. At what point are you concerned with your player's mentality, the character, you know, considering the, the, the matchup that you have in five days? Well, you know, I, I'm satisfied with the character that they showed today. Also, you know, when they were with two men down, you know, they showed still character. So I'm not worried uh, about that. So, uh, no, the character is there only. Yeah, we have to play, do better and score goals, of course. and. Uh, what you already mentioned, you know, uh, we saw some really good things against Red Bull. You know, this was another approach, another op uh, uh, opponent who dropped really deep. Yeah, uh, we have to be patient and I think that, you know, uh, after again, you know, after 26 minutes, you, you get a red card, you know, uh, your plan can go overboard. And uh, if it was 11 against 11, I had a good feeling that we, you know, uh, we had a good result, but uh, it's like that. But I also wanted to say that if you see this game at nine o'clock, you know, uh, I think it's for everybody. It's not worth it, you know, to play this in this kind of uh, conditions. Uh, you saw the tempo was really, really slow. Uh, even though when it was 11 against 10, it was really slow. And it's no benefit for, I think, the supporters who watch it but also the, the place because you know it's the circumstances were really tough uh, today so uh, yeah we have to really think of uh, if it's you know it's good when we play on this uh, certain times you know with this heat and uh, during the night uh, everybody felt quite comfortable still it's hot but it's it's it's, it's different and uh, so we really have to think about if we want to play this kind of games, especially, you know, if you want to entertain people. That's sport about, I think, to entertain, of course, to win and uh, to see good games. But I can imagine that for, you know, the, the supporters that it was not a game that you think, OK, you're going to watch it back. All right, last two questions. We'll go to Franco first and then Pablo. Hey, hey, Frank. Hi. Uh, just just two, two, two quick ones there. You touched on the, the early kickoff. How early did you guys have to wake up today to, to prepare for this game? I know well, there's been different we, times. To we talk had about. 6 o'clock, we had breakfast. So that's a quite awkward uh, time, you know, to, to stand up and to have uh, breakfast or your pre meal for a match. So, uh, yeah, that's never happened, I think, in my life. And uh, also with the, the players' uh, history, I think. So. Yeah, that's that's quite tough, of course. It's just a, a quick second one. Why, why did you take off uh, Adam John and, uh, after the red card? Why, why him instead of maybe some somebody else? What, what went into that decision? Well, you know, uh, normally you're gonna drop a little bit deeper, and Adam is not a player that okay, you know, he's gonna beat players with his speed. So uh, that's you have to have players, you know, who can make the one against one, and of course, you know, with ses pieces he can be dangerous, but. Probably, you know, you have to uh, drop deeper. So for me, uh, the only choice was that moment uh, to, to put him out. Thanks, Frank. Yeah, last one, Pablo. Uh, hey, Frank, thanks for making the time to do this. I'm curious, um, given the extenuating circumstances, the, the start time, the obviously the issues surrounding uh, coronavirus and the way the tournament's held to begin with, I'm curious as a coach, as a head coach, really how much stock you put in these last two results, um, whether maybe you are more sort of inclined to consider them an aberration, um, you know, you know, do you evaluate these games as, you know, in the same manner that you would evaluate just two regular season games played with a full preseason under normal circumstances? 
I think you cannot do that because uh, until now, you know, it wasn't a, like a good preparation before this tournament. So, what I already said, we didn't play 90 minutes. So, uh, you cannot say, okay, players, you know, you have to show this, uh, you know, 90 minutes because it's almost impossible. So, but still, you know, we are Atlanta. United and uh, we supposed to win games. We want to entertain uh, our audience, and you know that's our DNA. So and we have to understand that's our responsibility. And uh, even though you know uh, maybe it wasn't the perfect uh, yeah, preparation for this tournament, we have to have the pressure to to win all games, and uh, that's. If you, if you are involved in a club like Atlanta United, then you have to feel that pressure. And uh, we feel that always, you know, a draw is like a loss, you know. So uh, two uh, losses, you know, uh, hurts, of course, for everyone, uh, especially our supporters, but also our players. Uh, we don't want it and we want to uh, change that quickly. Okay, that concludes today's press conference. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, guys.